Hello everyone, thank you for coming back to Mary's Little House for this uh, episode of Love Alone Counts, number 17. The, the title of, the, of our specific program is Self-Abandonment, Self-Abandonment to the Divine Providence. That's the name of a little book, the title of a little book by a wonderful spiritual writer who died in, in 1751. His name is Father Jean Pierre de Cossade, SJ, Society of Jesus. It's one of my favorite books, one of my um, books that, that that's how influenced me the most. It's so beautiful. The theme is, is the self-abandonment to divine providence, self-abandonment to God's will for us. And I just want to read an excerpt and comment on the excerpt from the writings of Father Jean Pierre de Cossade, uh, die, who died in 1751. Um, I recommend that book. I, it's still in print, um, sometimes on another title, but the original title, uh, at least as I understand, was Self Abandonment to Divine Providence by Father Jean. Pierre de Cossade, uh, SJ. I'll write it down under the explanation of this video, his name and the title of the book again, so you don't have to worry about writing it down now. Here's, here's the essence. He's, this is a five, our, uh, the, our author's words, Father Jean Pierre uh, de Cossade. I, I quote, Self-abandonment in the heart includes all possible ways of serving God, for one's own being is given up to the good pleasure of God, and the transport caused by pure love covers the whole field of operations of God's good pleasure. Thus the soul at every moment exercises an infinite self-abandonment and all possible qualities and manners of serving God are included in its virtue. It is not the business of the soul to determine the particular matter of the submission it owes to God. Its sole business is to, to be ready for everything and to submit to everything. Can I just that's the essence right there. Can I just repeat that? Its sole business is to be ready for everything and to submit to everything. The Father goes on now. I quote, There, li there lies the essence of self-abandonment. That is what God demands of the soul. The free offering that he asks of the heart consists of abnegation, obedience, and love. The rest is his business, God's business. Whether the soul takes pains to fulfill the duty of its state of life, or follows with sweetness and attraction inspired by God, or peacefully submits to the impressions of grace on its body and soul, is no matter. In all this, it exercises in the depth of the heart one and the same general act of self-abandonment. This act is not in the least limited by, term, by the term of the soul's activity and by the special divine order which appear at the moment, but has in its depth all the merit and all the efficacy that a sincerely good will always has when the effect is outside its control. What the soul has wished to do is taken as done before God. What the soul has wished to do is taken as done before God. Um, isn't that wonderful? Even our very wishes are a done deal before God because all our wishes, all our desire, all our attention, all our efforts is to do the Father's will, is to do whatever it is, be it a positive, an attraction of grace, consolation, or be it negative, uh, 
a desolation or whatever is happening to us at this moment. And it's so immediate. While you're watching this YouTube, this is the moment, the locus, the place, the, the instant uh, where you are submitting to God's will. Hopefully you're watching this YouTube. That this, this, this is the, the, the time of our grace. This is the time when the Father's will expresses itself uh, in, in what the circumstances, it's a little bit hot, uh, or whatever, it, 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 this is the time, and we embrace all of it, the heat, the uh, uh, whatever, the, the lighting, I'm trying to figure out how to get some more light in here, it's a little bit brighter, isn't it, I don't want to be looking sinister like in the dark or something, he's the light of the world, so we got to show that light by by lighting up the place, you know, a physical light, and our light of our, our uh, laughter and joy, and and everything but anyway the so you see it, it the, the thing is this is is you know when we love we want to do the whip pleasure of the other to do the will of the other to to please the other that's that transcendence that's when we lose ourselves in love we transcend ourselves to to make our joy and our happiness our fulfillment the other's joy and happiness and fulfillment and in doing that, in dying to ourselves, not worried about number one, that is the most boring thing and the most immature thing, but but we're, but be concerned for the other. Then, like Jesus said, those who keep themselves lose themselves, number one. And those who lose themselves in love uh, find themselves, find our true selves, our, our gifts and our, uh, uh, the meaning in life and everything why God put us here. Love does all that. Well, it, we're talking about a per, the person of God, or, or, or God, one God in three persons. We're talking about the Trinity and, 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 and the God showing us uh, His will in each moment, in our daily duty, in what happens to us, uh, 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 in, in, in good or bad or indifferent or boring or gray or exciting or whatever. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter a single bit. Only thing that matters is that we that we do the Father's will, that we abandon ourselves. Like it said here, uh, it said here, uh, the, the, uh, the, it's so, our sole purpose, our, the soul, the, uh, uh, our, our will, our will's uh, sole purpose is to be ready for everything and to submit to everything. That's everything right now. I want to do, do this YouTube the best I can to give God glory. I, but the way I do it is, is by accepting the limitations, uh, 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 my own limitations, it, and, and using all the me mechanical things and the light. I got the light behind me here. Using everything uh, for, for God's glory to do my best and to do it passionately. I, I always like that quote that someone had, a holy person, that they would... Are, are, we should live decisively. We have to choose. And our only will, our sole purpose, our only business is to do what is accept, to abandon ourselves to what is right now, what God's will is right now. And I'm always, I always tell people when I preach about this or think about it, it's right now in your hearing to do the Father's will, the Father. And there we come in contact with the Father. And look at all what happens. Uh, when we, we are, when our sole purpose is to be ready for everything and to submit to everything, there lies the essence of self-abandonment. That is what God demands of the soul, right here, now, in the here and now, hiccup nook, here and now. The free offering, self-offering that He asks of the heart consists in abnegation. Abnegation is denying our very selves. When Jesus said, "If you want to follow Me," You must deny your very self, take up your cross, and follow me. It, it, this is what it's talking about. Abnegation, obedience, not doing our own will, not wanting anything but the Father's will. And that's what we lovers do. They just want everything for the beloved. You know, they're not selfish. They're, they're selfless. Okay, uh, obedience and love. Love is a gift of ourselves. So, and the rest is His business. His business is to take care of us. His business is to... Uh, may help us grow as human beings. His business is to help us grow holy. 
uh, uh, that's his business. All I'm to do right now, here and now, is, is to deny myself, not worried about how I'm coming across. Will they watch my YouTubes? Will, will, they, will they cut me off or whatever? All that stuff. But no, to give myself or to forgive my, forget about all that myself. And, and, and so as abnegation, obedience, do, not doing what I want to do, but what the, pleases the Father the most and love giving myself to the father and giving myself to my audience out here you that that bear lovingly and visionless with me all my craziness uh, in, in this youtube presentation so uh i encourage you it's a it's just a simple book it's you don't have to be so i have a be i have a, a master of divinity or a phd in theology no it, it it's uh it, it's so beautiful and and maybe you'll never get the book but you could get the idea that our only business our sole business is to be ready for everything and to submit to everything and there lies the essence of self-abandonment that is what god demands of the soul and there lies everything else all the treasures of god's love is in this moment because once we surrender ourselves to god in abandonment and self abnegation and obedience and in love and which is self giving we, we we receive god it, later on he just says that uh, this act when we do this is not uh, in the least limited by the terms of by the term of the soul's activity and by the special divine order which appear at the moment but has in its depth all the merit and all the efficacy that is sincerely good will always will always uh, that that a sincerely good will has has when it if it is when the effect is outside the control what the soul has wished to do is taken as done before god so i wish to to to, to surrender myself to offer my to to, to die myself abnegation to be obedient to the father's will uh, i wish that I, and uh, to do what he wants right now and I wish to do it with love, with the motive of love of giving myself because God deserves all my love. What, what, what does it say? That wish, what the soul has wished, all those things to do is taken as done before God. It's a done deal. Do you see what I mean? So beautiful. Well, it's profound and we could keep talking about it and we'll go back and forth. Those who, who want to have questions about it, uh, we, we, can, we can do that too somehow. Let's carry on a dialogue. God bless you for in, uh, in joining me. Let us help each other, pray for each other, that we may become saints together. They're the happiest people and they will, they will help our country going through this economic crisis uh, uh, more than uh, all the economists in the world. They will help uh, bring peace to Libya and Syria because saints, uh, we, we, uh, it, it, they're in tune with God and only God can change all this stuff. And saints bring down all the graces and uh, peace and justice to the world. God bless you now.